Are you the one who sent the SOS? Yep. Kiefer Cole, Prospector. Glad you finally made it. Um, where's Leland? He's inside. What? Alone? But big and scary and mean animals inside, too! Super dangerous inside! Well, obviously. But that doesn't stop New L.A. from needing a secure source of phlegm tide, now does it? Danger's part of the job. Who cares about your job? You abandoned your own family in there! I left because he's family. I finished my part of the job, see? Cole family rule number four. When the job's done, go home. Even if it means leaving someone to die? Well, that's why we called you, right? I'll let you take it from here. I'm heading back to New L.A. Good luck. Hey! What the hell is wrong with you? Get back here! <sighs> what kind of father? I know, Irina, but there's no time to worry about that now. We still have a mission to do. Let's rescue Leland. Leland Cole, right? That's right, Missy. Who are you? Um, we're here to save you. Kiefer called in an SOS. He did what? Wait, did he already head back? Yeah, and left you behind. Damn, he must have beat me. Hey, this isn't some race. He left you to die. Cole family rule number four. When the job's done, go home. Are all you people insane? What the hell kind of family rule is that? You folks are armed, right? What? Well, yeah, of course, but... Good. I still haven't grabbed all the ore in this cave on account of the indigents. Could I get you kids to take care of that for me? Are you even listening to us? Cole family rule number two. Always finish the job, no matter what. Besides, none of this stops New L.A. from needing a secure source of phlegm time, now does it? You are both insane, aren't you? All Fine, we'll do it. Colonel? They have their mission, we have ours. If we can offer support, we will. Yes, ma'am.
take I'm not taking any chances. Locked. You're mine! And it's destroyed. Is this enough? Oh, yeah. That'll do. Listen, I understand wanting to respect your father's rules, but don't you think... My father? What would you know about my dear pappy, Missy? What? He was just... Horse feathers! My pappy's been dead for ages. What? Then the man we saw was a g g g g g what the hell is going on here? I'd ask you the same, but not before we skedaddle somewhere safer. I'm heading back to NLA to meet up with Kiefer. You coming? Wait a sec! Pops, looking good. You get all that phlegm tight all right? Pops? Boy, who the heck you think you're talking to? Of course I did. Thanks for bringing the old man back safely, you guys. How about a drink, Pops? You're on. Wait, so... what? Cole family rule number one. Every job ends with a cold one. Not the drink for crying out loud. You just called him Pops. Uh, yeah. Something wrong with that? Yes? I mean, no. I mean, isn't he your son? <laughs> so Vandom didn't tell you? Well, that's rich. Now I get it. A bit of an odd couple, indeed. The old bear was messing with us. Okay, now Tatsu completely lost. Who want to explain to Tatsu? So how old are you, Leland? Somewhere in your 80s or so? Hey now! I'm 78 years young, Missy! What? He means inside. My old man refused to board the white whale unless he got a younger mim body. Hey now, I just wanted a body that matched my mental age is all. Now, how about that drink? You got it, Pops. He's 80 and kind of hot. That is so gross. Leland is actually the father. Kiefer is the son. <laughs> and friend sounded so confident. They are definitely an odd pair. I mean, even separate from the whole age. You said it. 
Leland was ditched by his son and didn't even play. Actually, he acted like it was expected. And he stayed to finish the task in front of him. Sounds like a true blade to me. Mission or not, abandoning your own kin like that? Hard to see that as a positive. Whatever works for them, I guess. Family means something different to me. Abuse and devastation. Let me help. Hey, Hope. Got a minute? Certainly. What can I do for you? Got something on your mind? Kind of. Don't know if you've heard, but there's been a string of blade disappearances lately. The third case just happened, and an odd commonality has emerged. The three victims that have disappeared so far. 
are Hans, Elliot, and Trish. They were all regular clients of yours, weren't they? Oh, no. But yes, I suppose they did come by for advice fairly often. Listen, Hope, I want to respect your client privilege, but if you know anything... I'm sorry, but I've been leaving so much to Ornella lately. My other missions have taken me out of the city a lot. Now that you mention it, I don't see Ornella around. Yes, she was feeling under the weather, unfortunately. I see. Well, tell her I send my best. And if you do hear anything, let me know, okay? <clears throat> I'm sorry, but can I ask you for a favor? Would you mind if we looked into this case? Thank you so much. Hearing that people close to me are vanishing is... It brings up memories. I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to focus on much else right now. It's not something I like to bring up, but... I was an orphan. When I was young, I was taken in by a church. The priest there was wonderful. He became a father and a mentor to me. One day, he walked out the door like normal and... Well, later they found him dead. I was inconsolable. I just shook and wept and prayed and... And I don't think I can bear that again. That's why I want to resolve this case as soon as possible. I suppose we should ask around first. Let's see what the rumor mill says about the folks who disappeared. Hey! That you, Hope? What's up? I thought we were meeting later. Um, were we? I don't remember making any plans. <laughs> Seriously? You were just here with Ornella. You told me you needed advice on something and wanted to meet later. You must be tired, girl. And here I thought you asking for advice was weird. No, I... This is so strange. What's going on? Ask Hope. She's standing right there. Look, you asked me to meet you on the South Jam Path plane around midnight. I figured it was really, really serious if you needed that much privacy. But since you're always helping me out, it seemed like the least I could do. I got your back, girl. N no! That wasn't me. It must have been the criminal we're chasing. You're chasing a... Wait, what? You better explain from the beginning. Oh my gosh. That's horrible. You have an evil twin? We have to confront the criminal at Janpath Lake. So please, Ada, don't go to the meeting. Stay here in New LA. Ha! <laughs> I'm a blade, remember? I'd planned to pay you back by listening to your troubles or whatever. But now I can do it by acting as bait for your deadly doppelganger. No! I won't have you risking yourself like that, Ada. See? I love you like a sister, Hope. But this taking on everything by yourself garbage has got to stop. 
I want to do this. And all you have to do is shut up and accept the help. Ada, I... Thank you. Truly. I swear I'll catch whoever's responsible for this. I really appreciate your help. There. Was that so hard? All right, I'll go on ahead. Meet you on the South Jam Half Plane around Minda. Got it? Now then. Right on time. Uh, you are the real hope, right? Yes. Thank you again for your help. We have to put a stop to this. Okay, so why don't you guys hide, and I'll draw our fake out here. All right. But be careful. Don't take any risks. Thank you so much for coming all this way. I know you're busy. Oh, heck, you're always helping me with one thing or another. I don't mind at all. That's very kind of you. I'm afraid I just didn't know who else to ask. It's so unusual to hear you ask for help. You've got me super curious. Oh, but uh, one thing first. Yes? What is it? You are the real hope, right? The real hope? I don't understand. No, I just heard this rumor about an imposter. Can't be too careful. No, trust me. I'm Hope from New LA. What a strange rumor to invent. And so you can prove that, right? I've been together with Ornella this entire time. She can vouch for me. Of course this is Hope. What kind of bizarro questions are you asking anyway? <laughs> okay, okay. Guess I went a little nuts there. Thing is, I've got somebody that I'd like you guys to meet. <laughs> you can come out now! What? This isn't possible! Ornella, you set me up? No, I was just... Why are you even here, Hope? I would ask you the same. Are you a fake Ornella, just like I have a fake Hope? I'm not! Oh, damn it! This whole planet's gone to hell! Think you're mad? Look at all the effort I wasted! Damn you! 
Hope was the perfect tool. Sweet and innocent and stupid. You did this. You put ideas in her head. You ruined everything. No. No. This isn't really her. Ornella helped me. She was always there. She was like a mother to me. You really are a stupid girl. Your precious Ornella is scum. She sold the lives and bodies of her people for spending money. Guess there's no reason to hide anymore. We'll just kill you and add your parts to the latest shipment. You can rest easy knowing that I, the great Jizan, will be taking over the role of Hope Alanzi. That sweet face of yours will add more fresh bodies to my mother's collection. Now, prepare to die for your kindness. We have no choice but to fight. Sometimes. Go on, do it. I got nowhere left to go anyway. What? You want to know why I did it? You think anyone would play sidekick to a naive fool like you for free? You were popular even before the crash, and I thought I'd get in on it. Make a quick buck and walk away whistling, but you kept helping people for free. We were in the red from day one. All that potential wasted. So I sold you out. Then I sold the mims of your clients to those freaks. That's horrible! Yes, and I belong in hell for what I've done. Now hurry up and send me there. No, come back to New LA with us. If we explain this, We'll find a way. I'll vouch for you. Do whatever it takes to make it right. You make me sick. Unconditional love. Martyrdom? What are you trying to gain with that drink? I'm... I'm not. This is what my father taught me. Yeah, and where did it get him? Fleeced and murdered. I'm no different from the ones who killed your father, Hope. Actually, I'm worse. <laughs> 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 